All right, we have got our candles going. Got two here, and more ready. All right, let's check to see what it's doing outside. Try not to get soaked. Yikes. Oh, there goes our power. Oh, it's back on. That's a little crazy. Yeah. This is just the front end of it. It has also dropped about 15 degrees. Okay, so here we are in the bathroom. We have a horrible storm that's stretched across most of Texas. Everyone is either thinking it's no big deal or preparing like it's the second flood of Noah. We're somewhere Noah's in between. Second arc. Yeah, Noah's second arc. We're somewhere in between. We've pretty much ignored it all day and then now it's raining really hard. I also drove four hours when we knew this was coming. Yeah, may not have been the best idea. Mm -hmm. Nora's terrified. Aww, poor Scotty. She's making baby noises. So, we thought we would walk you through what we did to prepare. It's kind of a hodgepodge of things our mom told us to do and things that we've read on the internet. And things that we feel are necessary because I'm pretty sure our mother and the internet did not tell us one of the things. So, first of all, our biggest tip, and I don't know where I heard this, is that if you are anticipating a big storm, like tornado, really bad thunderstorm, something that could potentially like blow out windows in your house, you know, a tree could, God forbid, fall in your house, whatever, is to have shoes close to you, close to your shelter area. So in my house, this is the shelter area. It's my downstairs bathroom. This is like the innermost room. Yeah, this is really the only interior room in the house. No windows. Yeah, so, um, my mom also always, we grew up like in the tornado belt and one thing that she always did was in the room that we would shelter in, which was also a bathroom, um, was she would make sure that there was a first aid kit and towels and water and stuff like that. So we've just kind of built on that and we'll show you what we... You know what I just realized? Have yeah. What? Mom also always had us bedding. We should get pillows and blankets. Yeah, that's a really good idea. At least one thick blanket mm -hmm. in case we have to like come in here and cover She always up. would like make us a pallet in our... So we will add a couple pillows and a blanket to this. Just in case. But what we have, first of all, we have clothes. So this is Caroline's full outfit, including shoes. It's kind of got some extra stuff in there, but yeah. I've got jeans and I've got like some workout pants and I've got all my other clothes are basically in here too. But these are sitting out, including a really good pair of tennis shoes. And I have my um, tennis shoes and my workout clothes. So if this is not an emergency, I'm just prepared for tomorrow. <laughs> And then next, we have the refreshment area, you know, right next to the hairspray and the dry shampoo, where it should be. Pretty sure no one ever told us this was survival, but if the power goes out and we're about to die of a tornado... We're not trying to do it sober. We're, we're polishing off this bad boy and just hoping we pass out and wake up in the morning and we're still here. Brighter skies. Hope to see a rainbow. Also have... Couple bottles of smart water and a sneaky snack. A sneaky snack because we don't want to be hangry and in a tornado. No. I don't know what the paper towels are for in case we poop our pants. Is that I don't know. I think I panicked and just grabbed them and stuck them in here. <laughs> our first aid kit and everything is in here also. Um, we have deodorant for our armpit sweats. <laughs> like, I don't know. And then Caroline decided to bring her Louie in here. Um, well, it, I mean, it has my medicine in it, it has my makeup in it, it has my wallet tall. with my ID. Your makeup? Well... Because <laughs> if we're dying in a tornado, you're going to be putting on foundation. No, I'm... I am thinking that we're going to survive and go to a shelter, and I might like to touch up. <laughs> I have no idea. I have my toothbrush. I did not think ahead to... <laughs> my makeup. So that's pretty much our survival kit. I mean... That's probably not the best survival kit, but we have a snack, we have refreshments, yeah. we have shoes, we have shoes. we're going to get pillows. Um, if we had a boy at home, my husband's at work tonight, he would probably have like a tarp 
or like some duct tape or something. Um, I don't know where any of that stuff is. So maybe in the future I should make some kind of kit that includes like a tarp and some tape. Like practical stuff some and batteries that. maybe. Makeup. I mean, we got plenty of mascara and dry shampoo to like last four storms. I mean, honestly, there's only so much I could do with the tarp, even if I knew where it was. I feel like we are better off just with the vodka and the popcorn than a fucking yeah. tarp. Like, we don't know. If some if something terrible should happen, God forbid, Jesus help us, please don't let it happen. We need to put on shoes that will protect our feet mm -hmm. and stay the hell where we are mm -hmm. and call for some real adults. Exactly. So I think that this will get us through until help arrives. I do too. Oh, and we also have a flashlight. It's just not in here yet. Yeah, we have a flashlight, but we have those by the bed. And then we also, and another thing, like this may just be me being crazy, but if I think that it might, the power might go out, I hate to be hot, first of all. So I always get the house really cool. Mm -hmm. um, I fill the bathtub up with water because you can use that to flush your toilets mm -hmm. if your water goes out. Um, and then I also light candles kind of all around the house. So if the lights do go out, you kind of have a little bit of light everywhere. And then I kind of gather the rest of the candles into like a central location, make sure there's an aim and flame or some matches there. Um, and then in this case, I put a flashlight by each of our beds. So she also made sure both of our phones were fully charged and yes. the iPad is charged so we can watch. That's a big one. The iPad has its own service. Mm -hmm. So it's both a third way of us contacting somebody if we need to, but mostly we can watch Netflix on it. Look how pitiful this baby is. Mm. It's okay. We'll protect you. We're big enough. Yeah. So uh, hope y'all weather the storm and we do too. And we will update you tomorrow and let you know. Maybe this will be nothing, but we are prepared. Right. All right. Stay safe. Stay dry. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Bye. Bye. All right, y'all. Well, the storm's still going on. We have prepared everything we can. All that's left now is nerves. Can't go to sleep. We've decided to just stay up till the storm's over so that a tornado doesn't suck us out of our bed by our toenails. <laughs> so the <laughs> Not to mention Nora is like enough to make both of us anxious because she's having a little puppy heart attack. Yeah. So the only thing left to do is shots. Pour us one. Ugh, it's my, it's a full bottle. Hold on. It's gonna take it. It's gonna take all my. Seems like a decent sized. That one's way bigger. Put a little splash in this one. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's good. They're even. All right. So we're gonna do a shot. Maybe we'll be calmer. But Maybe we'll have to do another shot. But for sure we'll be drunker. So we'll handle it. I feel like Tornado Watch 2020. Stay tuned. So the night took a fun turn. <laughs> Son of a bitch. My one-year-old computer that has already broken once and been repaired one month ago would not charge. We plugged it in. I said a little prayer. It started charging. I can't stand here for much longer. We set it on the ground. It stopped charging. Caroline held it up again and it started charging. So our solution, but I've been instructed. Don't bump the cord. Don't bump the cord. More, more, more. Please God, don't turn off. You piece of bleep windows. I am going to have a heart attack. Okay. You remember who's the Jenga master at the bar? That's right. You didn't believe me about standing up. Okay. Wish us luck. So I think the storm is mostly over. We just have some light rain now. Hope it doesn't catch us sleeping. Blow us away. We are prepared if it does. Yeah. But we think it's gonna, gonna be okay. So we've had several more rounds. If you can't tell. Our sleeping several. bags are in. <laughs> Our sleeping bags are in the bathroom with the dry shampoo and vodka. So now we are going to 
go to bed and maybe we'll let you come along for our weekend day tomorrow. Fingers crossed we don't blow away like Toto. Bye. Bye.